Okay, so I've saturated my hair pretty good. Um, and you're going to have like a lot of fallout of the um, product, like products that you use all week, which is fine. Like I say, this is how I do it on days that I know I have a lot going on in my house. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to distribute this throughout my hair. And what I'm using is, and which I love this deep conditioner, is the Organics Olive Oil um, Deep Conditioner. I love this stuff. Um, and I'm actually going to style my hair back, um, how we pull it back. Um, I will put a cap on it at some, t uh, at some point, like a plastic cap. But um, when I run out to the store, because I do have to do that, um, I just have it styled back like in a ponytail. And it's not going to, it'll look bad, but, um, so. Okay. Um, it does dry. It's not going to look all. And I'm putting a lot of this. Now, when I wash this out, I will wash it out with conditioner. And I will put a little more of this on it for maybe like five minutes. And then I will rinse this out really good. And then I will, um, put a leave-in conditioner in it. And I'm using my Miss Jessie's products right now. I'm on a hiatus from purchasing products. Um, so. Okay, so what I ended up doing was put my plastic cap on and, uh, my scarf. And so when I go out, I'm just going to put a baseball cap on. So I'll kind of show you guys um, what this looks like after um, I take it off and rinse it out and style my hair. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so I'm going to, I've had this deep conditioner in for about six hours. I'm going to go ahead and wash it out in the warm water. And then I'm going to do a co-wash with the VO5 Tea Therapy um, Revitalizing Conditioner. And this kind is the Blackberry Sage Tea. So I'm going to co-wash with this. And then afterwards, my leave-in conditioner is going to be the Direct, um, direct Leave-In by Giovanni. And the oils I'm going to use for my hair, it's like an oil mixture that has like olive oil, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, and macadamia nut oil, and avocado oil in here. I use this for everything, my hair, skin, whatever. It's just a mixture. Um, love this stuff. Um, and then to twist my hair, I'm actually just going to put my hair back in two strand twists um, because I do plan on still wearing my wig. Um, my Drew wig next week um, and I think next week is probably the last week that I wear and then I'm going to order another one but I'm going to twist my hair using the Miss Jessie's Curly Pudding love this stuff, love the smell of it and I'll come back and just basically just kind of show you how I twist my hair using this and, um, and that will be it so I will see you guys in a few minutes okay so I've washed that out co-wash my hair. What I'm going to do now is put in my Giovanni Direct Leave-In. Oops. Usually I would try to section my hair off, but I'm just going to apply that all over. Like that. Now, sometimes I do um, after I co-wash before putting on my um, uh, leave-in conditioner. I use my oil mix, um, but today I'm just going to go ahead and put the conditioner on like that. And it looks white, but of course it doesn't dry dry like that. It does dry clear. And I'm just going to shake my oil mix up, put it in my pan, rub it together like that. 
concentrating on my edges. As you guys can see, my hair has gotten pretty long. Love it. So, I'm right there. Okay. So, this is six months post my big chop. there so I'm right there on my neck and the back I'm just finger combing and when I do my twist I just finger part and finger comb when I'm twisting as well so I'm right at my collarbone and again this is six months post my big chop but I'm actually 14 months, 13, 14 months post relaxer, so doing pretty good. I, I'm very happy with the health of my hair right now, so. And again, what I'm going to use as my styler is the Miss Jessie's Curly Pudding. And I'm just going to do a couple of those twists. I don't use a lot of this product. Um... But basically, just show you how I'm going to twist my hair. Like I say, I finger part, finger part my hair like this. And it actually helps in working in the conditioner and the oils into your hair. And I'm just going to take a little of that. You probably can't see that much. Rub it through. And I'm just going to twist. And these are kind of be like medium sized twists, not too big, not too small, because like I said, I'm gonna still wear my wig as my protective style for this week. And um, and it just kind of helps. It'll take me about 30 minutes to do all of my twists. Like that. So I'm going to do one more and then I'll come back and show you my entire head after a twist. And I finger comb because I try not to do, um, with me doing a protective style with my hair and also um, just trying to be on my healthy hair journey, not to do too much ma manipulation to my hair and I think that's why I do wear my protective style, my wig. Um, because it allows me really basically not to touch my hair um, throughout the week. So, that's that. So, those are a couple of twists. I will come back and show you guys the finished product or the finished look of my twist. Um, and like I said, I will wear these twists all week um, like I have been doing for the past couple of months. And... Um, so, but I will be trying to do some different styles and um, with my hair because I do like um, looking at different styles on the computer and like the different flat twists. Um, I haven't did a flat twist on my hair in quite some time, probably since I'm, uh, a couple of months or so after I big chopped. Um, it's the last time I did a flat twist, but I do like the look of the twist out. Especially when your hair gets older, um, it just kind of has that messy, twisty look to it, and I like it. So, I'll come back and show you guys the finished look of my twist. Okay, so this is um, the finished look of my twist. And as you can see, it's, it does have like some white residue left, but this will actually dry very clear. Um, it's not going to be flaky or anything. Um, that's one of the things I really like about um, the Miss Jessie's products or using them with the Giovanni Direct Leave-In or the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner is that it doesn't flake. 
um, but this is how uh, my twists look and like I said my um, my hair is actually going to be underneath uh, a wig for the remainder of the week and I will style it back like I did um, this past week maybe some um, twist up on the side or going back um, but just something simple um, but that's it so this is how I style my hair with the Miss Jessie's curly pudding um, just twist now if I was gonna um, just wear my hair um, out in a twist I'll just unstrand the twist and separate them once and that'll be it so but anyway um, that's how I style my hair or at least twist my hair using the Miss Jessie's product um, the curly pudding and the Giovanni direct leave-in. So I will see you guys on my next video. Bye Good morning, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to style my hair um, using my Drew wig and um, It's going to be one of the looks that I tried last week and I absolutely think that it is time for um, another Drew. So I think I'll be ordering one on today. Um, I can tell where this one is kind of wearing out. And it could be um, the way that I actually store her just in a plastic bag basically. Like in what um, the hair comes in, like weaving hair, that's what I store her in. So, um, show you how to do. These are my twists. And as you can see that it did dry. Um, clear there's no flaking and I do not wear a wig cap um, I guess I need to find one that actually fits my head um, right because the one that I do have actually is too tight to something so um, I don't wear one I have not been wearing one I haven't seen any breakage for my hair um, I don't sleep in my wig um, I do moisturize my hair so it's not like I'm not taking care of my hair underneath so but I do know you're supposed to wear one. So um, this is just um, water, aloe vera juice, some leave-in conditioner, and a couple of oils. And I'm just going to spray my hair just to kind of moisturize it. I do do this every day to my hair um, while it's in twists. So, and I'll take my oil mix, just a little of it. And work it through like that so I'm going to show you how to do this so bear with me to the connectors here and the way I'm going to style her today is Keep it kind of back on my head like this and I'm going to use my, my twist to style back to kind of make it look like I have a, like a headband. Okay, so my last my banding came loose. Usually don't take me this long, I guess because I'm on camera doing this, that's why. Here. So I'm going to keep it like that. And I'm going to go ahead and place my combs underneath a couple of the twists. Now, I do use a couple of um, bobby pins just to secure. And the only reason being is because I do, I do go work out and I um, want to make sure that it's in place very well so that it doesn't come off. Okay, usually I don't have this much trouble. Okay, so as you can tell, my twists, they're freshly done. So what I'm going to do to conceal like this lace right here, 
I'm going to take a twist, kind of pull that back like that. Then I'm going to take these twists there. I do like this better when my twists are a little older. Um, but it's cool. So what I'm going to do is start pinning them in like so. See like how this is sticking up right here? I'll maneuver that later so that it won't be sticking up. So let me do this side here. See that's sticking up. Okay. So that's that. So I'm going to put a couple of bobby pins over here to kind of just keep this down. Let me tell you, I've actually gotten my money's worth out of this wig here, so I like it. I really love this look. I'm not sure if I ever wear a straight wig. And the only reason I say that is because I really like the look of the kinky, kinkier hair. Like that. Okay, so to smooth my edges, I'll show you what I use. I'm still using this. This is the Curls um, Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste. Um, I've actually been using this over a year, and as you can tell, it's almost gone. And you can purchase this at Target for like $7.99. And I'm going to wet my toothbrush. And basically, you just kind of Okay, there's something here, it's not, okay. I'll fix that. So I'm just kind of smoothing, smoothing my hair in place. So I'm going to take a little of my gel. I'm going to fix this and I'll come back and show you my final, my final look, okay? Okay, so this is my final look and what I did, I just went ahead and just uh, did my edges, kind of brought down the sides like this, so a couple of the little curls would drop. And that's it. I didn't fluff it too much um, because this wig has been fluffed more than enough. Um, so that's it right here. So this is my hair look of the day. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, this tutorial, short tutorial. And I will see you guys on my next video. i see you later. Bye.